So during the pandemic, I got this great idea to install a swimming pool. I had nothing else to do. And I thought it would be great because we'll probably be out of work for years. <laughs> and so the tips I found, I live in an older neighborhood and I have a ho house in a lot that really, I didn't realize at the time what it would take to dig the hole, but they had to tear up my entire yard to do it. So I, I would say my first tip for installing a pool is make sure that there's easy access for the equipment to get in because they have to bring big equipment in that they could possibly tear down your whole brick wall if you have one. Not that that happened to me, but. So anyway, you do that, then you wanna make sure that the sun's where you want it. And you wanna make sure too that you get the right pool contractor. And I was fortunate enough to work with Dale with Creative Pool and he has a great reputation. So you can always call your friendly realtor and get a recommendation from them. You can ask people you know who have a pool. You can go to Facebook groups for your neighborhood. Those are the kind of things that I think are so important because it's a long process and you're gonna work with that person and you need to know that it's someone you can rely on. Once my pool was finished, I was already back at work, <laughs> but it makes me find the time to relax a little bit and it's wonderful to come home to and it does create a great environment. So I think it's a great thing, but you just have to know that, that it isn't an easy project. That's why sometimes I say find a house with a pool and that's a lot easier. But again, if you want a house with a pool or without a pool, please reach out, I'd love to help you find one.